Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the lashes, adhesive, and tweezers I use. I get a lot of questions about what I use. So I'm going to go ahead and show you girls and give you my honest opinion. So he's using Coel Vavalash. And this one is actually new. Vavalash was the first lashes I started using. Coel, I just purchased them and I do have a set on that one on YouTube. Lash Babe is the last one. And then these tweezers are from Lash Bay too. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and use these right now so you guys can see how I create my volume fans. Um, again, so I have three brands of lashes. I really like them. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give you guys an honest opinion on all three. I know there's a lot of questions about what lashes should I use what is um a good glue for retention or so um this i purchased at amazon um this is how i set up my lashes i start off from the biggest and then down to the smallest size but for now i have a little bit of mixture going on so for the purpose of the video so i have all three on my glass uh top so I'm going to go ahead and show you girls how I do my volume fans. So again, I do want to mention these are easy fan lashes. They're 0.05. And this is the glue that I've been using from Lash Color. Let me tell you, the retention is awesome. So if you guys want to go ahead and check her out, um, I will link everything down below. So it's from Lash Galore and it's the ultimate adhesive. Next is this ultimate prep kit that I've been loving. Also, it's from Lash Galore. So the first one is a pre-treatment. Then the second one you're going to apply is the primer. And this is the ultimate retention primer. And then after you're done with your set, you go in with the super bonder. This will maximize the retention. So overall, you guys will have an amazing retention and your clients are going to love the retention. All my clients come back and they're like, oh my gosh, I did not lose a lot of lashes. So that makes me really happy. Moving on, this is the fan that I use. I purchased this at Amazon. And then these are my little pouches that I put in my tweezers. I really like them a lot. They are also from Lash Galore. Okay, so these are the tweezers that I've been using. Uh, they are from Lash Galore. I use these tweezers to make my volume fans. Sorry, I'm a little congested. And then these are the tweezers I use to isolate. And I think I have one more. No, I don't. So these are the spoolies I use on my clients. And I also have them take one so they can brush the lashes. Okay, and then this is the glue I'm going to be using to make my volume fans. Sorry, I'm a little congested. I have really bad allergies, so I apologize if I sound bad sorry so okay so let's go ahead and get started so i'm gonna do okay so i'm gonna use the this new brand that i i've told you guys that i purchased i don't know if i'm gonna pronounce it correct but coel probably i'm not sure so um from the look of it when i first got it in the mail i was like okay they're super matte they're very black really liking that so that's a plus and then i started fanning them and then i was like okay i i'm they're they're fanning perfect so i was loving that and the reason i'm saying that is because with baba lash when i am fanning them sometimes i have a lot of fallout it just really depends i think um some of the strips are are i don't know not made right i don't know they're defected but here we go so this these are the coel so look at as you can see like once you just pick them up they're already fed and what i really like about these also is that uh, i like my sets very fluffy so um they stay like that amazing right so here we go again so that's your fan right there i like pinching the base of it with vavalash 
I, I find that if you pinch it, they don't stay, the base doesn't stay pinched for some reason. So I'm really liking that this type of uh, lashes that I purchased, you're able to pinch the base and look at you guys. Isn't that awesome? And so I recommend if you guys are gonna purchase the Vava Lash lashes to purchase them in, uh, in 0 0.3. That should work better when you are pinching the base of the lashes. Okay, so that was a demonstration for these lashes so as you guys can see uh, they're really easy to fan they're really easy to pick them up from the strip if you wanted to use the pinching method you can go ahead and use the pinching method on these lashes and they work well so i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the second one vava lash so these ones right here this is what i was telling you guys that um some of the strips, maybe they're just affected. There's a lot of fallouts, so you kind of waste some time there trying to get the fan perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you girls right now. So let's see, let me clean up my little strip here. So yes, 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 Babalash. My kid is in the background, so I apologize if there is a lot of um, mama, mama, mama. Okay, so here we go. So sometimes what I do, ladies, is I brush them out with my spoolie, but here we go. I'm going to let you girls see this, and I'll be back. Okay, ladies so these lashes the vava lashes even though some of the strips strips are defected you're gonna have a lot of fallouts and uh it's gonna be annoying but what i really like about these lashes are the quality of the lashes um as you guys can see i did have a little bit of trouble um, picking them up from the strip and and keeping them in place and i also tried pitching doing the pinching method on these ones these ones right here are the 0 0.7 and uh these ones are they're kind of you know they don't stay that's why i say if you guys are going to use a pinch method to go ahead and purchase the 0 0.03 and that should be much better like i mentioned at the beginning this was the first eyelash uh company that i purchased to start my business and these are it right here um like i said also the quality of of these lashes are amazing and just a little trouble here and there with the strips but i honestly think that um uh, some of the strips are defective as you guys can see right here i am having a little trouble uh, keeping the fans together but other than that, I love them. So my next lashes are the Lash Bay. So these lashes, ladies, they are super, 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 super smooth. I mean, like, as you guys can see, the minute you pick up the fan, I mean, it's just perfection. You don't have to do a lot to to the fan. But like I said, I like my, my sets really fluffy. And there you are and you can also use a pinch method with these super 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 good quality they're easy to fan so far no complaints so i will let you guys watch how i create my volume fans with these easy fan lashes okay 
I'll be back. Okay, ladies, so from now on, I'm just going to make different fans from the different lashes that I have on here, Vavo Lash, Coel, and Lash Bay. Um, so overall, ladies, these are all good quality lashes. I mean, nothing is perfect, right? So you just have to work with it and just be patient. Uh, so these are the Vavo Lash. Again, I did mention that some of the strips are defected and you just have to work extra a little bit extra to get your fan to uh stay once you're picking it up, picking them up from the strip these are the coel really really loving these two um this is a new uh lash brand that i just purchased so uh i just did a set on a client and they're amazing and these right here are your lash babe like i said these are good quality lashes super smooth to fan them out super smooth when you're uh when you're picking them up from the strip there's really no complaints uh on these uh lashes so far so good i hope you guys enjoyed the video ladies um so yeah this is basically my honest opinion on all these three brands as far as the as far as the prices on these lashes ladies these are very affordable lashes good quality lashes the curl really stays no complaints whatsoever with the curl of the lashes uh, my clients love 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 every set that they get from all these lashes um go ahead and check out my instagram it's uh at marlene's double a double e z at the end i will link my instagram page down below and i will also link everything that i explained to you guys all the products all the lashes all the adhesives all the tweezers everything for you guys so give me a thumbs up on this video go ahead and subscribe turn off the notification and share this video if you guys want to go ahead and i hope you guys are staying safe and i will see you girls next time bye